Here we are folks, an update on Collins Model Railway, what we've done so far on the new circuit which I've been doing over the last about 10 days. This is where I started the circuit off by her. We shall take a little survey around the track. we got four main tracks, as you may well see. And in the background we have an old gauge track. We shall come around here. Now bear in mind now this is all just loosely fitted and a rough guideline to where I want to put the layout. We have the station area down here. None of this is just fixed down at the minute. This is just all loosely fitted. Down along here. We shall come along the window section by right here. And we have by here, we can put engine storage area by here. And another engine storage area in the background up there. Now all these tracks by here are loosely fitted and they're roughly in the template line exactly where I want them. Now what I've done by here now, let me come back a little touch. I put a 4x2 board in the corner by here now. It's resting on this cube box under here. This by here now needs a little bit of an adjustment by here. I need to put more of this click flooring board on here and across here. And what I plan to do then, as you may well see, this is where I finish the track off by here. And I need a few small rails for look at to connect into here. I'll take them two little pieces out in there. I'll show you this in a minute because I put two short straights in by here. Now these can come out on this two radius here. By here I have a little Peco piece of rail, ST202. Now I need another three or four of them. One to go, another one by there to match it up with the track by there. And I need another two by here so I can take these little short straights out. Now the inner two tracks by here, they look as though they're coming around pretty well okay. I have connected these two, two tracks up about a week ago. And they seem to come around pretty well well. And no cut pieces in here neither, which is what I want. Now maybe sometime in the future, I can connect my computer on here and run Railmaster. I do have Railmaster, but I have never used it yet, so I might be able to use this on here. The only snag I made to have is this piece of rail by here. This piece of rail here is a special rail. It's not a cut piece, it's about nine inch long. You had it off a magazine. Fitted in here, perfect. So I can tie this railway over into the track over there. And as you may well come down here, I'm looking down here, they all seem to run pretty well parallel, which is what I want. Make a smoother run in. There we are for now. We should come back more updates in the future. What I am debating as well by here is where this two points are connected by here. I could connect the tracks by here to digital. So I'm debating on that. Or will I keep this out the track, maybe for non-digital stuff? The two inner tracks, they are connected by a points, a set of points. This track here is not connected to this section yet. And this one here is not connected. Now I shall show you another part one on the layout now. And I got these two points by here, which I'm debating. Will I connect? This is digital here, this is digital, that's non-digital at the minute. And this one is non-digital. Now will I connect these two together by here, make the whole circuit digital, or will I keep the two outer tracks and run some of my non-digital stuff? I can have a little decide of that is when I do some more work on you. There we are for now.